Hi, and welcome to this introduction video. If you are watching this uh, video, you have received a result file in Excel from NBR. In this video, I will show you some of the built-in functions of the Excel files. Um, these built-in functions will help you to get a quicker overview of the data and, and hopefully get a better grasp of the results. So the first thing we need to do is to open the Excel file. So this file contains macros and that's why you've got this warning up here. So the first thing I need to do is to press this button and all the macros will be enabled. So basically what we're going to do here is to press Ctrl Q and that can be done in any, any of these result sheets. I think we should just get started. I'm just standing in this 3 year average sheet now and I'm pressing Ctrl Q. So what you see now is that I got some colors. These colors represent the quartiles. You have the quartiles presented up here, the first quartile and the third quartile. So for example, in this column over here, uh, values that are below 47 will be red and values above 57 will be green. And it is always positive to have green values and always negative to have red. You have also received a few filters over here can be used for either sorting, as in this case, let's say for example that I am interested in the highest yielding variety. I just sort from the largest to the smallest, and here I have my highest yielding varieties. You also have the possibilities to add filters. For example, I'm only in this case interested in looking at the three year varieties now have the filters added. If I would like to go back to the, to the original formatting I just press Control Q again and I'm back. And as I said you can do this in any of the sheets. Um, just one point here, make sure that you're not using this macro in any other sheets except for the result sheets, for example in the plan. If you press Control Q over here you will mess up the, the sheet. So only use Control Q in in the result sheets. All the sheets are printer friendly, so they should be you should be able to print all the sheets, as you can see over here. Um, one small tip maybe, if you would like to print the colored version. I would recommend you to go in and change some of the settings. For example, uh, it's quite nice to have it in A3 format and then lying down and change the scaling to, to let's say 80% and you will get all the data in one sheet. It gives you a quite good overview of the data. The other feature that I've added to this um, Excel file is the Control D function, which will draw you a diagram. So if I press Control D, I will get a question on which column that I would like to chart. Let's say I would like to chart uh, the, rel the sugar relative yield, uh, column 9. I just simply type in number 9 and I press OK. And there I have the diagram for the sugar relative. I could go on and press Ctrl D again and let's say I would like to plot uh, column number 7 this time. And this will then be placed right above the other diagram. So I have them both over here. I would also like to point out the sheet information 
here you can read more about how you enable macros and also I have some basic information about the codes that I've just showed you. So if you're annoyed by this warning over here you could always go in and under options security center settings for security centers macro settings you check this box over here press OK that was basically all that I would like to show you today have fun bye bye